got to be something better than this. Hey, welcome back to Ohio Wrecking Tech. I'm done shoveling and uh, been waiting on a little bit of snow. We got a little bit, so we're going to make it work out. Let's, uh, let's get this thing out of the box. Stick with me. Pretty excited about this. We got a lot to talk about. I'll try to be brief. So we picked up recently a new Ego SNT 2114 snowblower. Uh, it'd be this thing right here. Two seven and a half amp uh, batteries. And uh, says it clears a 14 car driveway. My driveway is about seven cars. This is the one with the steel auger. I was waiting for this one and uh, they're hard to find. I had this now in my garage for probably two and a half months. And uh, we finally got enough snow here in Ohio to kind of use the thing. So we have some plowed up snow. We have about five inches of kind of soft uh, powdery snow. It's starting to melt a little bit, so it is getting a little bit wetter. Um, should be a good test. I haven't charged the batteries on it yet, so we're going to run the five amp hour batteries in it. And uh, we'll dig everything out and let the seven and a half charge. Let's get this thing out of the box and see what we have. I ordered this one from Acme Tools. Uh, standard price was like $7.99 with the two batteries and uh, free shipping. So that was a good one. And uh, they were one of the only ones that had this in stock. Comes in the box all folded up. And some assembly required. Snow shoot. go rapid charger not too shabby the box is like this. okay Lots of plastic two batteries pretty cool sit those there beefy continuing with the uh, very informal and very childlike unboxing that's how I am Owner's manual, Allen wrench. Probably need that. Not really. I'm gonna clean my mess up, ditch my cardboard and recycles, and then we'll get to it. Hang tight. Pretty much, from what I can tell, the only piece that uh, you put on this thing is this. I got grooves, no grooves, kind of grooves. No. Oh. You gotta take the bolts out to put the cover on with a horrible British accent. Metric, sure. And there he is. What's up, buddy? What's up? You need a coat. You it's 27 degrees out here. You already got this belt and ready? Well, yeah, here, come here. You have a, uh, looks like a Cheeto on your eyebrow. That's how you know you're having a good day. We have a snow day today? Mm -hmm. No school? Yep. yep. We have a snow day and we have no school, which is exciting. Yeah. Even though you've been home most of the time for Zoom anyway. Mm -hmm. Which is boring. Yep. And then half the time they're quarantining because they got close to somebody that has COVID. Mm -hmm. Crazy. But it is what it is. Okay. So, the shoot is on. What do you think of this thing? Yeah. Yeah? I can't wait to run it in that big for those, snow. Yeah. So, for those of you who don't know, look at the camera. This is Luke. Luke, how old are you? Six. Awesome. Just turned six, and you are definitely my partner in crime, right? Yeah. Okay, so this thing, pull that angle. It's got a little gear lever up there that you move that with. So look. Is there like Just make sure when I'm running this, you put your face right in the front, in front of that, okay? That way I can shoot snow all over you. No. No? no. Terrible idea, right? I opted, I've been holding out, and I opted for the metal auger because even though I've seen a lot of videos where the steel auger works great, or the uh, rubber auger works great, I didn't want to deal with that. Uh, it just it is what it is. To me, we get a lot of uh, snow plows that come through, 
and we get a lot of stuff at the end of our driveway. So we have to chop up all that stuff to get through it. Mm -hmm. Five it. All right, so a couple observations. I am running the five amp hour batteries because the new ones aren't charged and I have a finite amount of time to get this video done. This feels flimsy, not gonna lie. Clicks in. That one's charged. Shut the hatch. Is it loud? Uh, we're gonna find out. So what you don't get in a gas blower is this. We have headlights, right? Let me see. Yeah, well, we'll turn them on in a minute. Um, oh. So you get headlights. You get a blower that anybody can use, or a snow thrower that anybody can use. Um, why would you buy this thing? It ain't got no gas in it. I don't know because I live in Ohio and um, I don't know, we get eight inches of snow uh, in January maybe, and maybe another eight or 10 sometimes in February. So snow blowers sit all the time. Yeah. They sit, and when they sit, because they have gas in them, some, day, some years we don't get snow. So they sit so long that when you need them, guess what happens? You pull until your arm doesn't fall, or until your arm falls off, or <laughs> they don't start, or you don't have gas for them, or whatever, and then it's in the shop, and then you're back to shoveling. So when we got our new driveway put in, I could probably park 10 cars in this driveway if I had to. Um, you can't but, park, park 10 cars in this driveway. Oh, I bet we could. That's a big driveway. The problem with gas blower, snow throwers, blowers, whatever, a lot of gas equipment that you only use it so often is uh, straight up, yeah, you're, you're, when you need it, it's not gonna work. And if you have um, certain people who aren't good with small gas engines, <laughs> thank you, um, they can't start them. Oh, Dad, he's going All right. Power button. Right, right now. These out, yes. Okay, tighten that knob. That was pretty good. Oh, oh, we got lights. We definitely have some lights. Okay, power one. Oh, that's cool. So you gotta push this, and then. Oh baby, here we go. Oh. Dude, you're not gonna believe this. What? We have headlights? <laughs> That's right, we have headlights. And, you ready? Come here. Cheetos. That's how I know where you've been all over the house. All right, hang on. This is the coolest thing ever. Should I hold the camera? Nope, you don't have to hold the camera. So check this out. This goes uh-uh, then that doesn't do anything, right? But watch this. Stay back. Press the button. Oh wait, press the button, then pull the lever. Ready? <laughs> Let's check this out, watch.
So one of the things we get is the, uh, the plows. They come through and plow us in. Let's see, uh, let's see what she does on that. And dead. We have a bunch of red lights and dead it is. What do we think? Um, I think they got another good one on their hands. Uh, the metal auger, great, like that. And I can tell you right now that my driveway, you can park about 10 cars in it and there was about four to five inches of snow. Some of it was getting kind of wet. And uh, I think you guys off. And I can tell you right now that no issues whatsoever. I never broke a sweat. So I like the thing. And uh, I, can't, I can't say that it's as good as a two-stage. But for where I live, I don't need a two-stage. And I need something that will fit in my shed or in my garage. And something that when I need it at a moment's notice, it's going to be there. So you charge your batteries up when you hear the snow's coming. We always get a forecast of some kind that, hey, there's a lot of stuff coming. And... That right there will do it. Pretty easy. Hit the power button. Yeah, I gotta put that away still. Uh, hit the power button and get your lights. I had no trouble with anything clogging. Set your speed. Hit this button, pull the lever, and you're good to go. And as a side note, if you guys have DeWalt tools and you don't have this heater yet for your garage, handy. Um, it's 27 degrees outside and right now in here it is 45 and climbing and it's only been a few minutes, uh, about 10 minutes. Power on, hit that, you get your lights, battery status, Lights are on by default. You hit the button again, you can turn those out. Hit that. So we're still on, but no lights. And then it looks to me like, oh, yeah, there you go. So you hit that button, lights go out, and then a few minutes, everything kind of powers down. I, I like it. If you've got the Ego stuff already, that would be a good addition for any homeowner, again. Um, I'm not talking about going out and, you know, starting a business with it. I'm doing my place, the neighbor's place maybe, uh, letting people borrow it. It's light enough to get in the back of a truck pretty easy or an SUV since it folds up. And uh, the latches, pop that one, pop that one, handle folds forward. Obviously, take that off if you need to or probably swing it around. I've not tried it. One thing I will say is make sure your cables don't get pinched. Um, but yeah, we've got a winner. I think we're good to go on it. So we're going to wrap this up. It's getting dark and it's dinner time. Thanks for stopping by Ohio Rec and Tech. We will see you soon, uh, for more RC and whatever action we can come up with. Thank you again. Please hit like and subscribe. Have a good one.